Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to try to make a hat on Roblox. Now, this is going to be pretty fun. I'm not going to be making like a whole new model. I'm not going to be using Blender for this. I'm just going to like make a new texture and basically just call it, you know, my own hat because it's going to be, you know, I'm going to make the texture and everything. So, I'm going to be using this Nickelodeon slime hat. This, you know, Nickelodeon slime fedora, which is from a old Nickelodeon Roblox event. Uh, I had this fedora on my old account, I think. Uh, but we're going to be using this one. Okay, I'm going to take the hat out of this group because I'm going to make this hat my very own and, you know, have a different texture and everything. So, in order to do all this stuff, you're going to want to have properties and explorer open up here in the view in the top area. And I, I, ha I keep them right here, but anyways, just go ahead and go into the mesh here. And you're going to want to go down here and go to the texture ID. I'm going to copy the texture ID of this item, the slime fedora, and then you're gonna go ahead and just go in the catalog and find an item because this is gonna go up here and change the ID right here and just paste it over this one and it takes us to the texture of the slime for door. so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this image and we're gonna go into whatever you know whatever editing software you use I'm gonna be using paint.net for this I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in here and I'm gonna crop it to selection. Do this. Uh, I'm, I'm. Just, so I'm basically I'm just gonna change the color of this. You know, I'm gonna probably give this like a blood design. You know, <laughs> which is not, you know, realistic for Roblox because there isn't really like a lot of blood in, in on Roblox. So basically, it's gonna be like a like a horror genre kind of hat. You know. So I'm gonna make this red. <laughs> As you can see here, it has a much uh, different kind of design, a kind of uh, more scary design, because it has like a blood splatter. It's just gonna look interesting. <laughs> um, see, I'm trying to see what else we could probably use for it. I don't know, just playing around with different effects I can use. Um, Okay, so I'm using that. Now let's go ahead and uh, save this image. Now let's go ahead and upload the decal. This is going to create and go to decals. I'm going to go ahead and upload your uh, texture. Alright, it's going to open up and then there we go, blood fedora. I probably, you know, I've been working on other textures as you can see for like a Dominus. So go up here and go to the link and copy that ID that you, you know, of your decal. And then we'll go back to the game and then we're going to go here, select the whole texture ID and we're going to go ahead and paste our ID from that decal. And then hit enter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that kind of that kind of looks creepy. Um, I mean, it doesn't look too much like blood. It kind of looks just like who knows? It looks like it's, it looks like flesh. I guess I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think that turned out pretty interesting looking. I kind of gave it a weird edge thing too, so um, staticky look. I, I think it looks really interesting. I think it looks creepy. So we definitely hit our goal there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like put this. I was hopefully my uh, Roblox character can pick it up with a touch interest. Just go ahead and test it on the game. No? Probably have to get a script for it. Let's go ahead. I I'm not good at scripting. I'm just going to go ahead and find a, a script that probably works. Let's put that in here. Okay, now we're burying it. I'm going to take off my other hats. Gonna go in here. As you can see here, we're now wearing our own hat, which looks amazing. I look, I look nice in it because I'm already wearing like a suit, so I got the whole thing going in here. Um, now I'm just gonna publish the model. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the thumbnail camera. But yeah, I think it turned out amazing. 
let's go ahead and publish it to Roblox. Or save the Roblox. That's what I meant. Uh, um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you make your own hat in Roblox. I think the, the texture and everything turned out amazing. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the website. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. I think it looks awesome. It looks just like if I made my own hat. I'm gonna put a link to this in the description below so you guys can you know use it if you want yourselves. It has the hat giver script on there and everything. So uh, if you want to use this or whatever and get the script out of it, you can. So we're gonna try to do that. Uh, I hope you guys found this video useful, helpful. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.